In this video, we're going to talk about what's called sentence classification. And what that refers to is the way in which we take clauses and we put them together to form different kinds of sentences. Now, I like to think of this as a little bit similar to going to McDonald's and ordering a burger. Uh, so we'll start here with a, a pattern that's called a simple sentence. And this is a bit like ordering a cheeseburger, right? It's fairly simple, uh, has some flavor, I suppose, but you know, most people tend to kind of move beyond it after a while and order something more interesting. So your simple sentence is where you have just one independent clause. So one times uh, independent clause. And you can see that here we have we went to the beach. So we have went is the verb, we is the subject, and then we've added a little phrase here to the beach. So that's a prepositional phrase, uh, but that's not really essential. And in this video, we're really just going to ignore phrases. You can decorate these patterns that are being described here uh, with you know, different phrases if you like. And you can think of that as like the condiments to your burger. You can add some extra mustard or uh, maybe even you know, add an extra pickle or something like that. But the basic pattern still remains the same. Then we're going to get to our second pattern here. And you can think of this as similar to something like a Big Mac. So you just double you know, the patties. You have two patties in this case. And what we have here is we have two times an independent clause. So two times an independent clause. And you can see here that we have we went to the beach. There is our first independent clause. And we have the tide was out. And we've joined these with a coordinating conjunction. But you can join these clauses with other things as well. So you could use a semicolon or um, a dash in some cases, or even in some cases a colon. Okay, now these wouldn't work all with this sentence necessarily, but these are viable options for connecting independent clauses. So that's our Big Mac, two independent clauses joined together, and we call that a compound sentence. Our third kind of pattern, and we're going to look at four here in, in total, our third pattern is called the complex sentence. And what this means is that we have one independent clause, okay, so one times an independent clause, and then we have one or more dependent clauses, okay, so one or more dependent clauses. So here we've, we've uh, changed our first clause into a dependent clause by adding when, and then we have an independent clause that comes afterwards. So what makes this a dependent clause is this, cord, um, this subordinating conjunction. We can't have this as a complete sentence by itself, when we went to the beach. Instead, when ties all of this to the second clause. And again, uh, you can have multiple dependent clauses that you can add to a complex sentence, but the key is really to have at least one independent clause and one dependent clause. So in terms of the, the burgers that we've been talking about, you know, this gets a little bit, uh, this is a little bit different than your standard fare. You can think of this as like a chicken burger or a quarter pounder or who knows what. Um, but we're getting a bit more interesting here. And then we get to our last kind of sentence, the compound complex sentence. And you can see here that this is a massive kind of burger. It's a whole bunch of uh, things thrown together. Not something you always want, but maybe once in a while you want something that is really going to fill you up. Okay, so what do we need for this? Well, we need two independent clauses. So that's our minimum. Two independent clauses. That's the compound bit here. And then we need at least one independent, uh, sorry, one dependent clause. So we'll write one plus dependent clause. So let's see if we can actually match that here in our example. We read, when we went to the beach, okay, so there's our first dependent clause. When we went to the beach, we had that one before. That you told us about, that here links uh, to the first part, and this is another dependent clause. Then we have the tide was out, there's our independent clause. We have our coordinating conjunction, as, and as you can see, uh, unlike other conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions are not included when you're trying to figure out if a clause is dependent or not. And then we have our last independent clause here. And now we can see that we do have a compound complex sentence. We have two independent clauses and we have at least one dependent clauses. In fact, we have two. So that's it in terms of the menu when it comes to sentences. Uh, apologies if you're a vegetarian. 
We'll produce another video soon uh, just to have a look at some other example sentences and then you can see how we might take different sentences apart and classify them according to the patterns described in this video.